Hi girls! So today I'm going to be filling a major request that you guys asked for and today I'm going to be showing you a first period kit and along with this first period kit I will also be giving you guys some tips for buying things when you have your first period and some things for your first period kit. So let's get started. So the first thing is, I just want to show you, I have it in this cosmetic bag that really isn't that big compared to my hand, but it has a lot of stuff in it and I'm going to tell you why I like these things and why I would recommend it for your first period. So let's get started. Um, I'll give you a general overview, a look inside what I'm going to show you guys. Now, the first thing I would recommend for your first period kit are liners and um, these are one of the liners that I would recommend that you get and these are the UI Kotex soft and silky and I'll show you what they look like they just look like this they're really soft and they're pretty straight they have a very slight curve as you can see and I would really recommend getting a whole box of these liners because when you get your first period, you have a lot of discharge and it's really important that you stay clean and you have something to help you with all that discharge either before or after your period. So yeah, the next thing I would recommend um, are the carefree liners. They're also very straight like this one and if you watched some of my previous videos I'm pretty sure you know what this looks like these are the scented but if it's your first period and you don't feel comfortable with scented then I would highly recommend you just get the regular non scented one but they're the same just one has a scent and one doesn't and last I would recommend some you by Kotex barely there liners because these are just basically a lot of people use these and these are just Good everyday liners. Um, if you just have discharge every day, then I would recommend that. But if you have more discharge when you're getting close to starting your first period, I would recommend one that's a little bit more thick and more absorbent, like the Carefree or the Soft and Silky liners. Next, I would really recommend you get some wipes because that's really important. Staying clean is very important when you're on your period. And I suggest you get both the individually wrapped ones and the ones that come in a pack, which I don't have here to show. But um, I would recommend these because you can take some to school because when you start your first period, you'll probably be in school. Um, like, you know, you'll be young enough to still be in school. So I would recommend you get these for school and then the pack for when you're at home because you would probably um, be a little OCD your first time and want to stay extra extra clean and so you'd probably use this every time you change or go to the bathroom or whatever just so that you can feel extra fresh so these are really important and I would really recommend them any brand is okay I really like the summer's eve and the always I'm not really picky about wipes I would actually use pretty much anything but um you can start off with the summer's eve because they're the most inexpensive other than um uh, Alo one, I forgot the name, but you can get that one. It's a dollar, but the second cheapest one I know of is the Summer's Eve. So, next, I would recommend the Ubi Cosex Tween Pads. They're exactly for girls who are starting out on their period anyways, and I really love them, even though I'm not starting out on my period, because they're really small and they're really cute, so it makes having a period a lot more fun, in my opinion. And I would recommend having... Um, about a pack of these but if you can pick how many you have then I would say about five pads because on your first period it should last from five to seven days sometimes a little bit shorter maybe like a day longer but I would just recommend having five but obviously if you are having your first period and you buy it then you have the whole pack so if you have the whole pack then that's great but I really love these these have wings and they're just all around amazing especially if you're on the thinner side um, but I'm not on the thinner side and they were great for me anyways. 
And I'm sorry if I'm talking a little fast. I'm not trying to rush or anything. I just talk fast. Next, um, I asked a few people who recommended this if they would like me to include tampons. And they said they did. And I feel like the best starter tampon for anybody would be the U by Kotex um, Sleek Tampon. It has a great applicator and it's a small tampon and I just love it so much. I would not recommend you go to Super. I suggest everybody start out with um, regular and yeah, sorry, my cat was doing something. Um, and these are just all around great and I wouldn't recommend buying like a huge box of them just in case you don't like using tampons. So if you could, then I would just recommend you have three just in case you need it and just so that you can try it out. And personally, maybe you'd need more than three because when you're first trying to put it in for the first time, I know it probably will take like two or three tampons to get it right because uh, that's what happens to people. If you get too nervous or you don't put it in right, then you just need to start all over with a new tampon. So it might take you a few tries the first couple times that you try to use a tampon. So if you purchase um, you buy Kotex tampons, then I would suggest you get the smallest box they have and of the sleeks and only regular. Don't get like a multi-pack. Um, just get the regular because that's the best one for a beginner. Next, I would recommend, recommend, I'm sorry about that, the Playtex Sport regular pads, especially if you're active. If you're very active or if you're on a team, these are really flexible and I really like these. Or even if you're not active, they're just all around great pads. And I know that when you're on your first period, your parents might not buy you a whole bunch of stuff. So I would recommend you choosing between the U by Kotex pads um, or the Playtex pads. You don't have to get both. But I would recommend you choosing between these. And you can see some of my past videos on absorbency tests or how they look. Um, but yeah, um, personally, I don't have any preference. I love them both, but it really depends on what works for you. And, um, you can watch some of my previous videos and make a judgment, but I would suggest buying a new period product every month when you get your period so that by the time you have it for a while, you'll know what your favorite ones are and you can buy those instead of spending money on other ones that you really don't like because that's wasting money essentially. So I would recommend having quite a lot of the regulars. So I have four Playtex Sport and I have quite a bit of the U by Kotex. I have two, four, six, seven. Actually one of these are, um, these are clean wear regular so I have five of these and five of these but I only have four here to show so yeah so those are what I would recommend but obviously if you buy them you'd have the whole pack so it's either one or the other but if you have access to both I would totally recommend it next you're gonna need some overnight pads um, and you will probably either bleed a ton so or you might be one of those people that don't bleed a lot at night it all depends on your body but I would suggest you have a heavy flow pad regardless because you don't know what's going to happen so it's nice to be prepared rather than unprepared so i would either have you guys have a clean wear he heavy flow pad or the um always infinity radiant overnight pad i believe or this is the heavy either one but i would suggest you getting either one of these and these are specifically meant for the nighttime, so they're able to pick up more blood than a regular pad, and they're a bit longer, um, which is a lot better for at night because you're you twist, toss and turn. Sorry about that. Um, and so you don't know where the blood's gonna go, so it's better that the pads are longer. So I would suggest you buying either pack of these, um, or you can see which one works best. I do have an absorbency test. And I do talk about how both of these are some of my favorite pads. So it all depends on you and what you feel more comfortable with. But you can watch some of my previous videos or some of my upcoming videos to see about these pads. And I would suggest you having around six of them because um, you should have enough night pads, one for every night. So if you have a period for six nights, then it's good that you have six night pads. But also, 
if you don't um, only have a heavy period at night, you can also wear a heavy flow pad during the day if you have a really heavy flow. Um, and sometimes it's good to just wear a longer pad during the day if you feel like you're going to bleed everywhere and you just really want to keep your clothes clean and just stay fresh. So it's not only for night, but for first period, I would recommend you use these at night. So that's there. And I only have one last product, and it is a recommendation. And I just love this Vita pad. I wouldn't recommend you get it your first period, but if you have money and you can afford it, I really like this pad. And it is the Vita Natural Cotton um, Ultra Thin Day Pads. And I believe you can get a sample on their website. I'm not actually sure. But I'm going to show you what they look like. And I will be doing a review on them really soon. And I really, really love them. They're super thin. And I just realized that these are one of my new favorites. So I would recommend these. But I wouldn't recommend you get them on your first period. I say you start out with the basics. Um, so yeah, this is my first period kit. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff, and I can't get it all in the frame, but that is what I recommend you guys have for your first period. I know it was highly requested, and I hope this helped you all, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, girls!